Hey guys, so history is a mosaic assembled from numerous components. You might think that history consists only of major events, those significant moments that left a mark in the memories of millions of people. But in fact, it is made up of a multitude of small pieces, those moments and details that don't always take the spotlight. Each shot in this video reveals a new facet of humanity and individuality. Diversity emanates from every frame, and it is within this diversity that our world exists. This photo shows the twin-engine bomber of the Royal Canadian Air Force flying under the Eiffel Tower in 1944. On the evening of September 13, 1944, Pilot Warrant Officer Bob Borman and his navigator, Sergeant Bill Bryant of the 409 Squadron RCAF, were enjoying themselves at a bar in Paris when they met a photographer and reporter from the Stars and Stripes publication. Looking to take an impressive shot, the photographer convinced them to fly their plane under the Eiffel Tower. A few drinks later, the pilots agreed to perform the stunt during their patrol the next morning. As per their agreement, the photographer was waiting on the balcony in front of the Trocadero Hotel. He captured the plane's maneuver right when its slightly intoxicated crew flew under the tower and narrowly avoided crashing into the hotel. They later mentioned that there was plenty of space under the tower, but avoiding the hotel was the challenging part. This stunt quickly sobered them up. Fearing disciplinary action for their reckless behavior, the pilots insisted on remaining anonymous, but everyone in the squadron knew who had pulled off this daring stunt. In 1920, the concept of healthy habits was quite different. Here, athletes casually share cigarettes during the Tour de France bicycle race. Cigarettes being purchased from a hospital bed in the 1950s, prior to the Surgeon General's warning linking tobacco use to cancer, heart disease, and various other illnesses. Before then, the medical community didn't consider smoking harmful to health. In fact, it was believed that smoking helped deal with anxiety, suppressed appetite, and was overall beneficial. As absurd and counterproductive as it may seem, hospital patients could buy cigarettes right from their hospital beds at the time. They could even smoke in their hospital rooms if they wanted to. Women Delivering Ice in Lower Manhattan, New York, 1918. When the First World War broke out across Europe, women started performing tasks that were previously done exclusively by men. Couriers transported huge blocks of ice across the country using carts and cars. The ladies in this photograph are delivering ice from the distributor to homes all over Manhattan, so it can be used to keep food cool. As refrigerators and freezers became more widespread, the company gradually ceased its operations. French wrestler Maurice Tillett and American supermodel Doris Lee, 1945. Shrek is believed to have been based off of him. They do indeed bear a striking resemblance, although the studio never provided an official comment. Annie Edison Taylor, the first person to ride over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Annie planned to make a fortune with this unique stunt. She intended to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel on her birthday, October 24th, 1901. Rare shots of the frozen Niagara Falls in 1885. Although it was only partially frozen at the time, it froze completely only once in 1848. The waterfall was discovered by French colonists in the 17th century. However, it remained virtually unknown to the general public for many years after that. Have you ever seen Niagara Falls without water? Do you know what happened to it? In June 1969, American engineers temporarily dried up the Niagara River near the falls for the first time in 12,000 years. Originally, the plan was to clear the massive amount of fallen rocks from the bottom of the falls, but due to the lack of funding, they had to abandon this idea. During the temporary break, the riverbed was reinforced to slow down the erosion of the famous waterfall. In November 1969, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers detonated the temporary dam and millions of cubic meters of water rushed down again. 
Do you want to spend more time with your loved ones, but don't know what kind of activity to choose that will involve everyone in the family? Especially for you, this wonderful family bicycle was created in 1939. Imagine how delightful it would be to spend time outdoors riding such a bicycle, especially if you have to pedal. Pay attention to how gracefully the foot-operated sewing machine fits into the design, allowing you to combine business with pleasure. You could even open your own sewing studio and deliver finished products directly to customers. A man at the top of the Golden Gate Bridge during its construction. Building the bridge in San Francisco required great courage. In the 1930s, there was an unwritten rule regarding steel bridge construction projects like this. Engineers were expected to foresee one death among the workers for every million dollars spent. However, the Golden Gate Bridge, which cost $35 million, had an impressive safety record. Only 11 people died during its construction, and it was reported that at least 19 others were saved thanks to a massive safety net hanging under the construction site. The survival of the bridge company workers was a marvel of foresight. A hand-operated traffic control device in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1922. As soon as the first car hit the street, accidents began to occur. It quickly became evident that there was a need for legal procedures to prevent car collisions and pedestrian accidents. Motorists began to use traffic signals to know when to stop and when to proceed through intersections. Before the introduction of electric traffic signals, the only alternative was to use hand signals, like the one shown in the photograph. The traffic controller had to manually change it from stop to go. Performers in costumes riding horses during Halloween in the 1920s. In the 1920s, just like today, people dressed up in elaborate costumes for Halloween, and they even dressed up their horses. As spooky as these figures may appear, they were most likely a part of a parade or perhaps a carnival. So there was nothing particularly eerie about them. However, if these skeleton figures in costumes were simply riding around in the middle of the night in their full regalia, that would be an entirely different story. Indians have gone even further with a very specific approach to decorating military equipment in India, which has deep-rooted traditions. Rarely can they do without elephants and other animals, and this can be easily explained by their customs. For instance, this is the kind of art they had on their helicopters some 60 years ago. Amazing carnival costumes were attached to real combat helicopters. A beauty contest for the most beautiful women's legs on the beach in Istanbul, Turkey, 1971. One might get the impression that it's all about modesty. It may not be decent to show legs, but at least no one could recognize you. However, there's a catch. They take off the covers later. So why wear them at all? It was devised to ensure fair judging by the jury. Before the introduction of covers, contestants with a pretty face or an impressive chest often won. Vaccination 1947, New York, USA. The action takes place as part of a vaccination promotion campaign. I think many men wouldn't mind trading places with the doctor. In November 1954, American Anne Elizabeth Hodges was injured by fragments of the Silicauga meteorite. This incident became the first documented case of a person being injured by an extraterrestrial object. This photo pictures a woman who placed an advertisement to sell her four children. The poster at the entrance reads, Four Children for Sale, in large letters. It's unclear whether she's crying or covering her face out of shame. The father of the children abandoned her while she was pregnant with their fifth child. She decided to sell the children and use the money to start a new life with her new partner. Apparently, there was no place for her children in that new life. Some may argue that it was better for them to live in another family than with such a terrible mother. However, the tragedy of the story lies in the fact that the little ones ended up in even more horrifying hands. Local farmers bought the children and used them as slaves. It was only decades later that the children were able to reunite and share their sad story. Children playing with stacks of money during the hyperinflation period in Germany, 1922. Well, that's all for today, friends. Like the video if you found it interesting. Let me know what the most interesting picture you saw was in this video too in the comments. And we'll see you again next time.